Purpose of Toothbrushing Toothbrushing is to remove dental plaque from the tooth surfaces. Dental plaque is a film of bacteria adhered to the tooth surfaces. If we forget to clean the gum margins, the retained plaque bacteria will cause gum inflammation. Choosing a suitable toothbrush. Choose a toothbrush with soft bristles and a small head in order to reach the tooth at every corner easily. For adults, the size of the brush head should be similar to the diameter of a $1 coin. If the brush head is too big, one will find it difficult to clean the back teeth. Toothbrushing force. Brush the teeth gently to avoid injuring the gums and abrading the teeth. Then, one will feel uncomfortable as the teeth become sensitive to hot, cold, or sour food and beverages. To brush gently, hold the toothbrush with a pen grip, moving it in a small, scrubbing motion, working on two to three teeth at a time, and listening to the brushing noise, which should be soft. Toothbrushing Methods Brush the upper and lower teeth separately. Start from the outer surfaces of the last molar at the back of the lower jaw. That is, the tooth surfaces nearer to the cheek. The bristles should be placed at an angle to the gum margins. Consider two to three teeth as a group. Brush to and fro like rubbing the teeth. Brush systematically, group by group, 10 times for each group. Brush from one side to the other. After having brushed the outer surfaces of the lower teeth, brush the inner surfaces close to the tongue. Reaching the front teeth, since this area is quite narrow, it is difficult to move the brush head sideways. Therefore, the toothbrush should be placed against these surfaces vertically. Use the tufts of the bristles at one end of the brush head to brush each tooth outwards away from the gums. Brush the front teeth one by one. After finishing the six teeth in the front, brush the inner surfaces near the tongue on the other side of the jaw. After having brushed all the inner surfaces, brush the rugged chewing surfaces. Place the toothbrush horizontally on the surfaces. Do not forget the last molar at the back. For the upper teeth, also start from the outer surfaces of the molars at the back. Place the toothbrush at the gum margins. Take two to three teeth as a group and brush to and fro gently. Brush systematically, group by group, 10 times for each group. After having brushed the outer surfaces of the upper teeth, brush the inner surfaces. While brushing the front teeth, Hold the toothbrush vertically to brush each tooth outwards away from the gums. Brush the front teeth one by one. After finishing the six teeth in the front, brush the inner surfaces on the other side of the jaw. Place the toothbrush horizontally on the chewing surfaces. Do not forget the last molar at the back. Make sure all the molars are cleaned. Tips for toothbrushing. The gums bleed easily on toothbrushing. If the gums bleed easily when we brush, this will be an early sign of gum disease. This does not occur with healthy gums. The way to restore gum health is to clean all the tooth surfaces, especially those around the gum margins. The outer and inner surfaces of every tooth, including the last molar at the back, should be cleaned thoroughly. Do not avoid the bleeding gums while brushing. Otherwise, the condition will get worse and bad breath may even occur.
Tips for toothbrushing. Placement of toothbrush at the outer surfaces of teeth. When we open our mouths wide, the cheek muscles become tight. It is difficult to place the toothbrush at the gum margins of the outer surfaces. Simply close your mouth a little bit. The cheek muscles will be relaxed. Then, the toothbrush can reach the gum margins. While brushing the teeth together, if your lip is tensed, it is also difficult to place the toothbrush at the gum margins. Then, bite the teeth together. The toothbrush will be able to reach the gum margins easily. Remember that the bristles should tilt upwards when brushing the upper teeth and tilt downward when brushing the lower teeth. Tips for toothbrushing. Gagging when brushing the inner surfaces. As the inner surfaces of the back teeth are near the throat, some people may gag when they brush there. To improve this situation, simply use a toothbrush with a small head. Approach the inner surfaces gently. The problem will be solved once you get used to it. Tips for toothbrushing. Prevent omitting any surface. If we forget to place the bristles along the gum margins, the dental plaque will accumulate here and cause gum disease. Therefore, every time you brush your teeth, make sure that the bristles are placed at the gum margins and brush every two or three teeth as a group orderly. That way, no surface will be omitted. Tips for toothbrushing. Missing to brush the back teeth. If we do not focus on the placement of the bristles, the gum margins, as well as the tooth surfaces of the back teeth, may be missed. Simply close your mouth a little bit. The cheek muscles will be relaxed. Or replace with a toothbrush with a small head. The bristles will be able to reach every surface of teeth easily.